Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to learn how to convert percents to fractions. So the word percent um, literally means per 100 or out of 100. It comes from an old Latin word uh, and it was abbreviated and changed, but percent means per 100. So to convert percents to fractions, uh, we are going to put the percent over 100 and then simplify the fraction. So let's try number one. We have 40%. So the first step is to put the percent over 100. So we're going to write that as 40 over 100. Now our next step is to simplify the fraction if we can. So if you notice, both the numerator and the denominator are both divisible by 20. Um, so if we do that, that will give us 40 divided by 20 is 2, and 100 divided by 20 is 5. So our final answer is 2 fifths. 40% converted to a fraction is 2 fifths. Let's try number 2. We have 37%. So again, we do our first step, 37, we put 37 over 100. Now our second step would be to simplify the fraction. 37 and 100 don't have any common um, factors uh, besides one. Um, and so this fraction is in its simplest form. So the answer, 37% written as a fraction, is just 37 over 100. Let's take a look at number three. We have 125%. So this percent is greater than 100, which again is okay. Um, that just means that the fraction that we converted to is going to be a improper fraction and we can convert that into a mixed number if we are asked. So let's go through our steps. We put the percent 125 over 100. So we have 125 over 100. Then we simplify the fraction. So we can simplify even though this is an improper fraction. Um, both the numerator and the denominator are both divisible by 25. So if we do that, we get 5, because 125 divided by 25 is 5, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. So we have 5 fourths. So if you're allowed to leave your answer in a improper fraction, 5 fourths would be your answer. And if you're asked to convert that to a mixed number, that would be 1 and one fourth. So your answer is either five fourths or one and one fourth. Let's take a look at our last example, number four. We have 1.2%. Now notice that this percent is a decimal. There's a decimal percent. It's 1.2 or one and two tenths percent. Now we can go through our steps and you're going to see um, there's going to be an extra step when you have a decimal percentage, but let's go through and you'll figure that out as we go. So we have 1.2%, so we put 1.2 over 100. But now we have a decimal in our fraction, and that's not nice. We don't like that. It confuses everything. Um, so we have to convert this fraction uh, into a fraction without a decimal. And to do that, um, we can multiply the numerator and the denominator um, by 10. And essentially what this is going to do is move that decimal point one place to the right. So let's go ahead and do that. Multiply this by 10, multiply this by 10, and that is going to equal 12 on the top, because 1.2 times 10, it moves the decimal to the right, over 1,000 on the bottom, because 100 times 10 is going to be 1,000. So now we have a cleaner fraction, 12 one thousandths. We can live with that. Um, and then our last step would be to simplify this fraction. Um, so if we notice, we have 12 and 1,000, and they are both divisible by 4. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 12 divided by 4 on the top. That's going to give us 3 as our numerator, and then 1,000 divided by 4 is going to give us 250 as our denominator. So that means that 1.2% written as a fraction is 3 250ths. That is your final answer. So hopefully after watching this video you guys have a better understanding of how to convert percents to fractions. Uh, if you want to get some extra review or you have any other uh, conversion um, problems you want to learn about, we have a whole conversion playlist. 
There's converting fractions to percents, percents to decimals, decimals to fractions. Uh, so feel free to check that out. Um, and thanks again. Thanks for watching.